Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to merge laser da data provided by two different lasers into a single scan. And to do that we are going to use a package that is called the IRA laser tools. And this is related to a question that appeared one day ago at the Ross Answers Forum indicating about how to merge laser data using this package. And the guy who was asking the question uh, was having some problems here about being able to see the fuse, the fusing scan that contains both of, this, of the laser's data. So he's not able to see both of them. So uh, we're going to see how to use that package and we'll see what could be the problem of this guy. Great, for that, I have created this starter bolt simulation with two lasers, is a modified um, simulation. And then I have included a second laser here that is some centimeters away from the first one and looking into the opposite direction. So one laser looking on this direction, the other one on the opposite one. Great, then the first thing that we are going to do is to install the IRA laser tools. And for that we have to clone here the package because this package is not included into the ROS distribution for whatever the reason. So let's come here. We are using by the way the ROS development studio for doing this experiment and this programming. And you can use it for your own programming for robot, developing with ROS, creating your own videos, whatever, by visiting this address RDS dot the construct sim.com great let's go so now we come here and we are going to clone this repo that we have great we have we have it is here has been created and we contain all the packages required great now let's go and compile it so cat kid make uh, let's see how it compiles. Great. Once this has been compiled, uh, we are going to do only a simple thing because the, this package, the IRA laser tools, contains already a, la a launch file. Actually, contains both. I'm going to talk about the uh, multi merger today. So, uh, if I open this, let me check that. Let me configure in a better way so we can see the file better. Yeah, here it is. So the first thing that we'll have to do is to modify this launch file. So in this launch file, we have to identify two things. First thing is the destination frame. This is the frame from which all the laser scans will be merged and represented. So it means that the merge scan will be um, published from the frame ID that we um, indicate here. So in this case, we are going to uh, indicate base link, like the center of the robot. So it means that the merge, uh, the merge uh, scan that is published in this topic will be published in this topic, will be referenced from this base link. Okay, great. Then the second thing is this uh, parameter, the laser scan topics that indicate which ones are the topics that we would like to merge. Here is a list separated by spaces of all the topics that you would like to merge into the single one. So in my case, it's uh, very simple. Uh, I don't remember, so let's go here and do a ROS topic list. And let's see what is happening. So if I, yes, I have it. It's the Kabuki laser scan and Kabuki laser scan tool. Great. So let's put it here. Kabuki laser scan. And then I'm going to delete this one that comes by default. And let's put the other one. Kabuki laser scan tool. Great. So that's all. So what is going to happen is that all those topics are going to be merged and published into a single topic that is called a scan multi and the scan multi laser scan uh, laser scans will be referenced from the base link great so now let's save 
and we have the launch it and as you could see before everything compiled properly so we have the IRA um, laser tools package already compiled then the only thing that we have to do is to launch it so let's do it cross launch IRA IRA laser tools and then it's called the uh, laser scan multi merger great there it is yeah you could see that it appears at the beginning of the program this is an error that appears because the, the program the IRA laser tool package it doesn't have all the previous uh, transformations so it is producing this error only on the at, at the beginning of the program but after a few seconds of running then all the transforms are already available so this error doesn't produce anymore so it means that the program is working properly so don't worry about this error if only appears once okay that's the case now here okay let's check now if uh, uh, we have this uh, scan multi um, topic that is being published for that I'm going to open a new shell here and let's see yeah let's do a raw topic list oh, raw topic list again here it is a scan multi here it is great okay but, but this is not very nice to to see here so uh, let's use the Arby's in order to to check that uh, visually that it is actually been published so for that we have to to type ros run rbs uh, rbs and great so now rbs has been open but in, in rds in order to to watch any graphical tool that has been executed we need to come here back and press this icon here open ros graphical tools a new tab will be open and press login and here it is okay so let's put it here great I have already configured this for for easy uh, understanding and go faster so what do we have here is the model of the robot with the two lasers and the and you can see the two different frames pointing uh, to the opposite direction than the other one then what can we see here in uh, pink color we have the front laser scan and in blue color we have the backwards laser scan and then in white we have the merge uh, topic so it's the the scan topic that has been the concatenation of the pink and the blue but as you can see it actually doesn't show the full blue thing and I think that this is the problem that this guy is experiencing in his question here that he says I cannot see the 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 obstacles of the robot back so I think that he's experiencing the same problem as I have here okay so what is the problem the problem is that it's a, a, a problem of configuration of the IRA laser tools actually it's just this simple thing so for that what happens this IRA laser tool provides a dynamic reconfigure tool so we can modify the configuration of the package online so for this I'm going to open a new tab and then in this tab I'm going to launch the dynamic reconfigure tool Ross run uh, to reconfigure here it is and okay so because this is another graphic tool then I cannot expect to see it here so it will appear here on the same screen of Arby's as you can see here so great so we have it here and I'm going to select the laser multi merge great so what is happening here the it has uh, the laser multi merger 
node has two parameters. This is the angle mean and the angle max. And as you can see, they are not going from minus pi to pi. That should be in order to show the whole scan, the full scan. So what we are going to do is to increase those values and you'll see the, the results. So let me just put this a little bit lower so we can see at, at the same time how changing the parameters um, modifies the the visualization of the merge scan. So I have put this on top and now I'm going to vary the value of the angle mean. You can have a look at those white values and you'll see how they modify. Okay, so I am updated. Okay, so this value is for this area and this one is for, yeah, sorry, this value is for this area, exactly. And this one is for the opposite area because the laser is, is in the opposite direction. Okay, so now let's increase this one up to the maximum value. And okay, so now you can see that the merge scan contains both things. So if I remove one, this is the front laser, this is the back laser, okay? And we have now the merge scan that contains that this is one that contains both things. So it was just as simple as that, that it was just a matter of configuration. So I hope that this helped. Remember that if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to do your own experiments, remember that you have the Ross Development Studio that you can access for free and do your own experiments, your own videos, your own courses for your students, whatever. So thank you very much. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell. Thank you.